guys how are you hope that you're doing good it is the beginning of yet another week and i am so excited i'm i'm so 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 excited well i didn't record my weekend for you guys because i thought it would be just too monotonous and then it will end up just being the same old same old thing I did go over my calories by about 380, 400. I don't know. I'll verify with my fitness pal. But yeah, so I just thought maybe today I would do... Oh, before I go any further, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Share the video and give me thumbs up. You have no idea how that helps me. And also go to the Instagram page uh, that's in the description below, The Blank Dieter, and also on the Facebook page, The Blank Dieter, and follow. Because um, my goal is to just show you how easy it can be. You know, I'm not the best when it comes to presentation. I'm not the best when it comes to all the little things, you know, that other people do. But I'm going to try to improve on that. But I just want to show you how practical it is to lose weight. I might take you in the kitchen with me. I might take you in the kitchen with me. So if you want to see more videos like that or if there are any particular recipes that you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. This is my breakfast, lunch, whatever. <laughs> Two eggs with um, about 15 grams of cheese and coffee. Hey guys. So this is my dinner. I tried a little bit guys with my presentation today to kind of make it pretty for you. Um, one cup of rice precisely shaped as you can see uh, about 100 grams of broccoli 120 grams of boneless skinless chicken thighs this was a bit of a boring day for me i had my usual breakfast that i've been liking the scrambled eggs and cheese uh, sandwich which is so delicious you know me when I start eating something for breakfast I can't stop for dinner as you saw I had something different the tomato rice and the jasmine I mean the jasmine rice with the tomatoes and some chicken thigh but I really didn't have any snacks or anything I drank mostly water on this day okay guys so <laughs> as usual this has been my favorite breakfast, my scrambled egg sandwich with cheese, about 17 grams of cheese on toast. And of course, my coffee. Okay, I'm having 30 grams of these Pringles, which is a 153 calories as you can see okay guys this is all I'm having uh, for my dinner I didn't feel that much hungry plus I wanted to save some space for my Kit Kat on this day I struggled a lot you know I had a little too much to snack on about 460 calories worth of snacks and I was over by 91 calories which is not too much but I want to try to stay below my calorie limit you know I ended up having a total of 1441 calories when I was only supposed to have 1350 so I don't want to make it a habit because once you start you know flying off the handle that's when you get back into your old habits and stuff like that but I didn't do too bad on this day Hey guys, good afternoon. This is my first meal of the day, which is a slice of bread, 100 grams potatoes, 50 grams beef sausage, two eggs, 
slices of tomato in my coffee. Oh, hey guys. I just thought I should check back in with you. It's almost the end of the week and I haven't been doing that great uh, with my exercise this week. It's been about a week and a half and I haven't been on the treadmill like I normally am. And I, um, I definitely, definitely next week I have to get back on my program. It's just that I've been having an overwhelming week and I'm thankful that I'm able to still stay on my diet you know I did stay on my diet I was still eating healthy stuff the things that I'm supposed to eat I was still doing the things that I'm supposed to do so yeah no matter what you do uh, you have to make sure that you stay on track with your diet because 80% of it is the diet the exercise is only the cherry on the top um, the cherry on top so that's what I encourage you even if you find yourself in you know a situation where you cannot do you know cannot exercise the way you would like to exercise you should still make sure that you stay on top of your diet uh, I've been I've been eating snacking a lot on like chips and stuff but I stick to the serving size if it's a Kit Kat, I only have two fingers. If it's um, Lay's, I'll have just the serving size. And you can find that you stay in control of your cravings if you stick to the, to the serving size. So there's what, what's called the 80-20 rule, where you eat healthy 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time, you can afford to just have have a chip, have a Pringle, have a lay, have, you know, some ice cream, you know, one scoop, two scoops, whatever you feel, but you have to make sure that it's not enough to make you fly off the handle. Because once you start eating double cheeseburgers on, on the weekend, it's going to be very difficult for you to get back on track on Monday. So yeah, just follow the A20 rule. Still eat what you enjoy, do what you enjoy be the person that you want to be but you have to do it with boundaries and whatever you do keep that mentality of I want to stay healthy it's all about being healthy even though we're talking about weight loss as the goal but you want to still be healthy so yeah my loves those are my words for you that I wanted to catch up with you this week and just encourage you just in case you've been through a week like I've been through where you're just overwhelmed and you couldn't work out but you still have to make sure that you uh, stay on your diet. All right. Bye, loves. Hey, guys. Two eggs, 100 grams of minced meat, 100 grams of avocado, and a slice of bread. And of course, coffee. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys my progress. Um, it's been slow, but sure, which is what you want. Sometimes, you know, you want that fast weight loss that crash diet that's just gonna make you lose 10 kg in three months but this is not the program this is not the program but let me just show you the progress that i've made and this is since i gave birth right so in 10 september this was my weight i was 97 kgs i lost 80 to 88.5 so this time around, starting my journey, I started in March. I was 87.4. I actually recorded my weight to be a little less than what it was because I was actually 88. By April, I was down to 86.3. Then July, 83.3. In August, 83.1. Um, by the 12th, I was 82.7. The latest one that I have not recorded yet is... 81.9 that was my lowest this 
week. So I think I should record that a couple more times before I enter it into my app. But yeah, guys, that is my progress slowly but surely.